Hello and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Star Wolves 3. I'm sorry. Oh, I've had a long day today. So yeah, Star Wolves 3. <laughs> I've had a pretty long day today. I'm just going to say. <sighs> anyway, yeah, let's continue it. Oh hey. Eh, yeah, we'll go for these guys, I think. Oh, come on. Uh. <clears throat> there we are. Okay, wolf, stop right there. We'll go for this. What is it? A storm crossed and two stilettos. Oh god. Uh. Guess the lettles the worst one. Go for it. Ooh, hey, get in here, Wolf, please. No, 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 no. Uh, Trenny, why aren't you shooting them down? Okay, Trenny, you need to get in here now. Let's activate the inspiration right now. Okay, that'll do it perfectly. Come on. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that the passives actually... The AMS actually worked as a passive as well. I may be wrong, but I don't think I am. Hmm. Okay, well, Wolf, uh, make your way over here. Because we've got some more friends. Uh, machetes and hammerheads, we should be able to deal with that without any trouble, really. You get out, Trenny. It's actually Tarnai, I was told, or something like that, but I... I can't say that. What is this? What's this say? Ternai? Terni? Ternai? I've never heard that word before, that's why I'm confused. It's like Terni. Ah, I'm sorry, I've heard Trenny before, but you know, not Ternai. That's why I keep saying Trenny. Uh. Anyway, chase them over there and see if you can grab their attention, please. Oh, come on. Oh. You're getting yourself shot up again, by the way. That's... Ah. Oh. Well, we got one down. That's perfect. Oof. Almost shut down by the wolf there. But alas. Excellent. I'm wondering why Trenny's getting hit so much. Has she not actually got any of the dodging ability? No, that would be why. She's not got advanced piloting, but I do. Hmm. Right, so that'll be part of the reason why she's taking so much damage. Not the whole reason, but part of it at least. <clears throat> anyway, we're just making our way out of here, so it should be perfectly fine. Hanoi Trading Station. I think we just went right past that, didn't we? Oh, hey! A Raptor Cleaner, a Storm Crow, and a Raptor. We should be able to deal with that. Uh, trying to you get it. Uh, K 
kill the cleaner and Stormcrow first because they've got the big guns. Ooh, hey, ow. Excellent work. <laughs> I love that laser that's on the wolf. Ah, oh, it's just great. Ah, yes. Also, if I remember right, Maxim's actually a reference to an actual gun from the Second World War. Uh, the Maxim machine gun, I believe. I could be wrong with that. But anyway, let's get moving. I want to know what the ship is, though. Oh, enemies? Oh, that should be fine. He says he's not even looking at the composition of them. Oh, there's more. Uh, right, these are the primary threats, I guess. Actually, none of them are primary threats because they all ran away. Hmm. Okay, come on. Right, so what do we have here? We have a Bident, a Stiletto times two, and a Tiger. Oh no, it's a Cleaner. Right, these are a lot of Tech 3 ships. To be honest, that is three Tech 3 ships and one Tech 2. We might be hard pushed to kill this. Uh, Trenny, Missile Defense? No, don't feel like it? Ah, uh, it's, it's, it's fine. <sighs> Excellent, come on. Oof. We're taking some hits, but it's fine currently. Um we should have we should have this. Yeah, cool. Oh. This is our space. You was uh as the transport fee of seven thousand two hundred credits. Uh no. <laughs> Just uh no. I don't owe you anything. No. Why would I pay them? It's a storm crow and a raptor, not exactly much of a threat. Anyway, that's actually quite cool, random events. We're not getting much in the way of hits, but that's fine. Yeah, Trenny's taking a bunch of hits again. Uh, I will make my way back to the wolf. In the meantime, Trenny, you go and dog. Um. Oh, let's have a look at the processing station, I think. Hmm. This station is off limits to outsiders, docking prohibited. Okay. I'm actually just curious, that's why I'm wandering to these stations. That and I also want experience from fighting. Because we should be getting a small amount of XP. Yeah, a very small amount. It's not much, but it's better than not. Hmm. Station is off limit, docking prohibited. Ugh. The Dead Jack Pirate Station. 
We can dock hit it. I uh I guess I'll have a look. I I am mildly curious now. We can dock at the pirate station for hmm. For what services are we allowed to dock? Oh hey. Uh, cleaner tiger stiletto. Uh, we should have this. We had the last one that was like this. Just quick save it, just in case. Mostly depends on how accurate the wolf feels like being. Uh, sit right there, Wolf, and do that. We should have this. I love how fast the shields are recharging. <laughs> anyway. There we go. Excellent. Uh, you just follow the wolf and the wolf moves. I'm not going to be surprised if we encounter more pirates. Just saying. For obvious reasons. Hey. Uh, there we go. Wolf, you sit still. Oh, hey. We're eating a lot of damage. Oh, you know what, Sixth Sense? We need to get out of this. Come on. You know what? Let's stay in the wing for now, see how it goes. Oh, hey, ow. Please stop. You've got to be getting ready. Ah. <laughs> this is why I normally just keep it on, you know, slow speed for combat. At regular speed. I just, I like the more control. When a scenario starts going south, I can see it straight away. Oh. Yeah, the, I... I... no. I really like it when I actually pilot myself, if that makes sense. I don't like speeding up time, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it's tedious watching me do every fight at regular speed pretty much, but I just, you know. I can't do it hyper accelerated, honestly. I mean, I'll try and speed up the fights a touch for you. Okay, sit right there, Wolf, and go after the closest one. Excellent work. Excellent. One more hit needs. Nice work on the stiletto there, Trenny. Oh, there is pole axes. Huh. I... Okay, interesting. Hmm. 
Or was that another one I was scraping that they somehow removed? Oh, I can't remember anymore. Not that it really matters that much. Oh, come on, Trenny. Spin back around. Kill him. Please? I think they're actually running slightly from the wolf. I could be wrong. I think most of the damage is actually coming from the wolf herself. Hmm. Oh, you know what? May as well dock. If we got any um, ships we want here or anything else, might as well dock and see what we have. Ah, yeah, dock was station. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, hey. Unfortunately, these are far, far away ships. Also, fourth generation? Since when was a Trident fourth gen? It was always third gen, I always thought. Hmm, maybe I'm wrong. A heavy missile carrier, this prototype was initially developed by Anoka as an answer to the expensive but effective Hermitas made by the USS. Anoko and Noko, engineers uh, devoted with some special purpose concept, the special purpose concept, and equipped with the Smilodon, with two guns capable of dealing low grade ships, uh, dealing with lower grade ships uh, without the primary missiles. Their other advantages of the ship include speed slightly higher than that of the Hermitage and a relatively low price that made the New Empire order a lot of these vessels for its fleet. Huh. Hell of a durable too. Hmm. Third gen, okay. That's second gen, first gen. Uh oh, third. Heavy uh, Jaguar heavy attack. Hmm. The Naginata. Is it Naginata? No, Naginata is not what I thought it was. Uh, first gen, second gen, light fighter tie flying. No, we don't need that. <coughs> It'd be really nice to get one of these heaviest, heavier ships like that, but yeah. That's not going to happen, honestly. Oh, hey! The newest heavy kinetic cannon, development of the newer laser defences, resulting in a new round of artillery innovations. Yata Gahan is a dual kinetic cannon with a symmetrical recoil absorbers, developed especially for eliminating well protected targets. Like corvettes and heavy fighters, its key defences of the M113 series include an improvement to the target system. And a more powerful projectile, this cannon entered mass production in 2224, exclusively for the use only by the corporations. So one should not expect to arrive to, uh, to the uh, arrive on the open market anytime soon. Hmm. That's actually a really tempting to get. The rage. Heavy kinetic cannon of the third generation. Forty-five sixty medium accuracy. What have we got? We've got a thunderbolt which is extremely accurate and a low accuracy gatling at two thousand and fifty maximum damage. So two thousand and fifty maximum damage. 
That would be you, yes. 2050 maximum damage and one of the Thunderbolts. Which has got... Not that high maximum damage, but it's quite accurate. Ha! Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I'm actually really thinking about getting that Joe Cannon. It's only 74k. Hmm. You know what? Let's sell all of these. All of these. Uh. We'll keep the pole axes. <gasps> Main caliber projectile particle accelerator for first generation. Having witnessed the terrifying power of the major caliber cannons that destroyed the uh, nearly two thirds of the heavy strike fleet during the short skirmish, the NESF leaders ordered the development of similar weaponry. That, uh, at that, it was decided to focus on improving the more expensive but also more effective particle accelerator technology instead of upgrading the kinetics or laser guns. In about six months, a special design bureau introduced the first prototype of the particle accelerator MPA-6 Calvern. In terms of firepower, this gun surpasses all counterparts of its class, but cannot offer decent accuracy. Reliable and price affordable for mass production. Is that just a big F off gun? Oh, it is a big F off gun. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's have a look at other things first. Holy crap, what's this? The Supernova Torpedo 2000 damage. Uh, first off, let's get rid of all the torpedoes. Or, not torpedoes, missiles. Dumb fires. Um, systems. Hmm. Hmm. Up to 4k. 400k. Uh. Anyway, let us sell all but four of those. We'll sell all of the pole axes. And. Hmm. I think I'll spoil myself. Which one, no? Um, 45, 60, 60, 80. That one's just objectively better, theoretically. So there we go. Wait, did that bring my speed down? Oh, my maneuverability went from 149 to... 149. Oh, that's fine. Still more maneuverable than her, but still slower, somehow. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Actually, no, wait a moment. Hmm. We don't need these. Oops. 
these. We don't need these, and we don't need these. We'll keep the gladiator for now as well as the repair. Ah, uh, it's really quite tempting to get a better sensor system. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yep. We need better anti-missile defense though. Thinking of getting rid of that uh, plasma cannon that's on our top. Because honestly the plasma cannons are not accurate enough. They deal a lot of damage, sure, but their accuracy leaves a lot to be desired. Anyway, let's have a look at these guns in action, shall we? And Treddy, you follow on my lead. Come on, let's wait. Okay, we should be able to deal with these quite easily. Theoretically. Theory like usual makes bad practice. Seriously, that is very low hanging. Ha. Huh. Oh, hey. We not ha may not have that though. Okay, so what started firing at Right, they started firing at us. Okay. <clears throat> I guess we'll deal with them first. So many missiles! Wow. Okay, I thought we might have had a bit of trouble there, but no. Allegedly not. Right, anyway. There we are, that's what I was looking for. Double, double toil and trouble. I want to see this gun fire. <laughs> Love it. Just thunk. Come on, come on. Spin around again. Okay, get him. <laughs> <laughs> I love that gun. That gun is just great. Oh, it's spectacular. Okay, cover that, uh, the wolf again. We'll get moving. Uh, we'll move our way to the patrol station, get uh, rid of the uh, pirates we have, and then make our way away. Because, yeah, there's not much really to do here anymore. Uh, we are to go to the XK-10, right? Ah, welcome to our station. Nice to meet you. Greed saving pirates. Okay, cool. I think we're actually meant to be going this one. Uh, backspace isn't it? Yeah, it's a preen. Okay. Wait, why is XK10 go up north? Huh. This is kind of laid out strange then. Uh, yeah. Hmm. This is laid out really weird then, this place, apparently. Alien? Uh, note to Jerusalem 3. Okay. Uh, were we meant to meet Trenny's friend at Jerusalem 3? Mm hmm. Okay. So off to Jerusalem 3 then. I'm probably actually going to enter Jerusalem 3 in the next episode though. Just by the way. 
Hmm. Anyway, I will leave it there then. So, until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed, and next time we'll be in Jerusalem 3.